We refer to it as a Civil War Sunday School quilt. Completed September 1st, 1863. It was done by a woman in Maine, Susanna Pullen, and her group of Sunday School students. A different person provided the inscriptions for each of the blocks? Yes. So altogether there were how many? 14. 14. And Susanna Pullen makes it 15. On all plain colored squares and triangles are ink inscriptions no longer visible. Inscriptions that faded during years when the quilt was exhibited at a library in Augusta, Maine, before it was donated to the National Museum of American History. The quilt contains Bible quotations, jokes, advice to soldiers, recipes for medicines, words of encouragement like these. In order to affect sound sleep, eat not heartily after sundown, especially after a heavy march or desperate battle. If you are good looking, send me your photograph. Direct to the name in the large square. Virginia, is this the inscription that shows up best on the quilt? Yes. If you really look carefully and slowly, you can make out the words on here and match it up with the inscriptions that were included when they donated the quilt in the 1930s. The inscription on the back of the quilt is, the commencement of this war took place April 12, 1861. The first gun was fired from Fort Sumter. God speed the time when we can tell when and where the last gun was fired, and we shall learn war no more. According to what is penned on the quilt, it was hoped that the quilt would not only provide a diversion for the wounded soldiers during their long days recovering in hospital, but also, quote, alleviate or prevent disease and lead to happiness in heaven, unquote. Okay, after the quilt was finished, uh, Sarah Sampson, another patriotic woman from Maine, brought the quilt to Washington, D.C., and she took it around to the different hospitals. And I think what makes it very special and really intrigued me is there's two letters that were written by soldiers in the hospitals to Mrs. Pullen in Maine telling her how much they enjoyed it. And it's a reminder of the many, many women all over the country that both in the North and the South who did a lot of work behind the scenes to support the troops during the Civil War.